Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. Uh, it's the 15th of June 2022 and apparently we've got a heat wave on its way this weekend so I thought this would be the perfect day to introduce you to a plant with a lovely tropical flavour. Um, and it's actually, it's growing in my garden so I'm not going out foraging too far today but it's a very common plant and if you haven't got it in your garden, believe me, it will be growing somewhere near you right now. Um, and it's just down here growing out the cracks in my patio. You can see there lots of little leaves looking very much like chamomile. That's because it's in the wider chamomile family. But unlike chamomile on those buds there, you don't see any petals. With chamomile and most of the rest of the family, you would see a, a ring of white petals around the flower bud. Now, um, that's what gives it its scientific name. This is Matricaria discoidea, and discoidea means without rays or without petals in this instance. So, whenever you see a bit of pineapple weed or Matricaria discoidea, that's the first thing that tells you that it could be it. The second thing that tells you that you could have pineapple weed or that you do have pineapple weed, I find this to be a key identifier, um, which means that you can't make mistakes with this plant. And it's nice and simple. If you get the flower buds, crush them up and have a smell, you get a very distinct and very lovely smell of pineapple. You also get, if you eat those buds, and to a certain extent the leaves, a taste of pineapple. Um, so it's um, a little bit odd in texture though, those buds are a bit bitty. So I don't tend to eat them raw. What I do use these for is uh, in drinks, so pineapple weed tea, just like chamomile tea, or uh, you can then chill that tea and make a lovely cold pineapple drink as well. Um, but what I'm gonna show you today in this video is one of the most simple desserts that you can make with a lovely foraged ingredient. Now, when I get to the cooking bit, vegans and uh, very healthy people may as well just switch off because it's a pudding. It is uh, unfortunately not vegan and I haven't figured out a way to make it vegan, but it's definitely more on the luxurious side than the healthy side as far as puddings go. So we'll get on and do that in a minute. I'm gonna have to collect up about 75 grams, that's all, of these flower heads. And normally, on one plant, you can get quite a long way there. So these ones, as I say, they're growing out. And here's another one, as you can see, with more flower heads on it. These ones are growing out of uh, the cracks in my paving where there is almost no soil whatsoever. So they're not as big as uh, this plant can get. I'll put some photos in this video so that you can see how big it gets and how vigorous it can be in its ideal environment, um, which is normally disturbed ground. So the sort of places where tractors drive in and out or up, up and down fields, that's where you'll find absolutely loads of pineapple weed or anywhere that's just been disturbed and left. This is one of those vanguard species of plants which will get in there before others do. And as I say, it's a, a lovely summer delight with a lovely tropical flavor. And as long as you've got a plant like this with no petals uh, and a really lovely, very distinctive smell of pineapple, then you can't go wrong. It's pineapple weed, Matricaria discoidea, or uh, it's got a few other different names. Wild chamomile, I think, is one of them, or scented mayweed, because it does tend to start showing its face in May. Um, pineapple maywort is another one, so it's a plant with a fair few common names. Simple though, stinks of pineapple, you've got the right plant. Our oh, pineapple weed. Now I'm going to take some in the kitchen and make a nice pudding and I think I might share some with the office again, see what they think. Right, and here we are in the kitchen 
and as promised, I'm going to show you how to make a lovely, really simple, really tasty, tropical flavoured pudding out of your uh, pineapple weed. As I, said, as I said, this is not a, a vegan pudding and it's not particularly healthy, but come on over here and I'll show you the ingredients. We've don't have to be too precise, but what I've got here is about 100 grams of my pineapple weed heads. We've got about 100 grams of sugar. You can put in more or less, and you should really use caster sugar, but I'm using granulated there. And then I've got about 500 ml of uh, lovely double cream there, and about five tablespoons of lemon juice. The only equipment you need is your scales to weigh that up. A potato masher, a whisk, a sieve and a few pots to put your pudding in. Now I'm going to show you how simple this is. It's ridiculous uh, and it kind of almost makes me feel like a chef because when people taste it normally they find it really really tasty and a bit unusual. So here we go, what we're going to do, put our pan on the heat, add our cream, our sugar and add our pineapple weed heads and then we're going to attack this with a potato masher now you can bust all the heads up in a pestle and mortar beforehand or you know I suppose you could whiz them up or whatever um, I find this way quite effective what you're doing is releasing that lovely pineapple flavour into the cream. If you don't do this or blitz up the heads, then it doesn't taste that much of pineapple, but this normally works for me. And that is it. That's the first part of uh, prepping or, or making your pineapple weed posset. All I need to do now is let this heat up almost to boiling, uh, but not quite boiling, and leave it for a couple of minutes so that the flavours can infuse and that the sugar can melt. That's it. So I'm going to come back in about five, maybe ten minutes and see how we're getting on. So now we're ready for step two. Come on over and have a wee look. You can see here our cream's gone a little bit yellowy and it's been bubbling very gently for about three, four minutes after it had heated up very slowly um, after I'd mashed all those pineapple weed heads and sugar into it. Now, all I am going to do is add my five tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice and it does not matter if there's a pip in there don't worry about that and try not to make a mess <laughs> or rather try not to waste your lovely pineapple weed posset as I just did there so that's all mixed in and all I'm going to do I swapped for a slightly bigger jug for this part of the process so that my sieve could fit over it. I'm getting a lovely heady smell of cream and pineapple through there. And then I'm just gonna get the last bits through in the back of a wooden spoon. That and the sieve can then go in your pot. And all you need to do then is portion up. So I'm using these fancy little kilner jars here, but you can use any fancy glass. And I've got a bit for one more um, or anything like this, because uh, now all I am going to do is put that in the fridge for, 
you know, at least an hour or so, but until it's set, basically. When it's set, it's a, it should set almost like jelly. You should certainly be able to turn it upside down and it won't fall out. Now, I've done this really plain and basic. It's that simple. That's your pineapple weed posset and that will impress people. But what I really like to do is uh, put a, almost make a pineapple weed posset cheesecake is the way I put it. So I'll get uh, some digestives and uh, some butter and mash those digestives up with the butter on a low heat and put a little biscuit base at the bottom of my Kilner jars. And then because this is quite a sweet dessert, what, got, what goes really well with it is any sort of sourish pudding, so, or, or compote if you like, not pudding. Um, so I tend to use either rhubarb or gooseberry compote and put that on the top. And all that is, is a bit of rhubarb or a bit of gooseberry, uh, remove the skins of your gooseberry, um, in a pan with a bit of sugar. Get the juice that comes from that and pour it on top and what you've got is the biscuit base with the lovely sweet pineapple weed posset and uh, a nice almost sour uh, but sugary topping which makes this an absolute showstopper anyway here we go this is just pineapple weed posset these are going in the fridge and then we'll see what There we are, there's our three pineapple weed posset pots set. And I'm out in the garden, I'm about to uh, give these to my three harshest critics when it comes to food. Over there we've got Bonnie Rockets, Poppy and Rachel. So let's take this over and see how it goes down. It's a very hot day, Bonnie Rockets. Could you just pop the legs out of that? There we go. And where did Bonnie put the spoons? Bonnie, where did you put the spoons? You don't know. I've got one. Where's the other one, Bonnie? Hat. Oh, in her hand. Oh, there we go. We've all got one. Okay, right. Here we are. Three Craig Revel Horwoods <laughs> with no Bruno Tognoni in sight. That, Bonnie, is pineapple weed posset. It's super yummy. Yeah, you want this one? Did Poppy Which just open that want? for you? She likes to open things it's herself. Not yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, have a taste and then look at me. That way I'll know what you're thinking. It's actually nice. That's the best That's one you've actually ever made. really nice. That's the nicest thing you've ever made, mate. It's actually yeah. the best one you've ever made. Really? Yeah. Well, I knew you liked it, Rachel. Poppy's, nice. Poppy's never tried it. Mm. Well, that, that, that I'm well, very that pleased taste with. Really That's Well, here we go. This is the ultimate judge. <laughs> Are you going to have a little taste for Daddy? Yeah. No, little tiny taste. Nice. It's delicious. Mm. Daddy made it. Eat the puppets. <laughs> oh. oh no, that's not happening. Never work with children or animals. <laughs> here, Bunny, taste this. Oh, it's melting. Yes, it One little tiny, tiny bit. Why are you being funny? You've never been funny about tasting anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you wanted to so bad. Are you coming to eat mine? You can practice on your own. And you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. <laughs> <laughs> Yucky! <laughs>